A man accused of raping and killing eight year old Cherish Periwinkle several years ago faced 300 prospective jurors today. The trial of Donald Smith got underway following years of legal and administrative delays. Ann Schindler is on your side tonight at the courthouse all day and she joins us now with a sense of what's actually happening inside the courtroom. Ann. Well, you can't tell by looking, but it was a very busy day today at the Duval County Courthouse here in downtown Jacksonville. A lot of trials going on, but none as high profile as that of Donald Smith. Now, today was just the start of a trial that the judge estimates will take uh, several weeks. Jury selection alone will probably take at least a week. At least some prospective jurors seemed familiar with the case today. Some craned their necks and looked at the defendant. Some uh, appeared to recognize him, but for his part, Smith's demeanor seemed relaxed. He stood and nodded at jurors when introduced, and during breaks, he smiled and chatted with his attorneys. Smith arrived in court in a pale pink button-down shirt with a gray tie, but he swapped that for a blue shirt during an early court break. Smith's defense team also included, for the first time, a jury selection consultant to help sort through the four-page questionnaires that were given jurors, and it's a large task. 300 potential jurors were brought in and split into groups of 100. The judge excused 11 of them today for reasons ranging from work to travel conflicts. One juror was even excused today was a relative of the judge. Now, in total, they need 12 jurors and four alternates to sit on this death penalty case. It's estimated, as I said, that it could take up to three weeks, possibly longer. I'll have more on the trial timeline at 6 o'clock today. Live in downtown Jacksonville at the Duval County Courthouse, Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.